So, when I woke up, it was like dark. And um, like right before I, like right before school started, I was able to go to a, like a little cemetery that was nearby. And I got some uh, clips over there, which might be good, I don't know. I haven't really seen them yet, but um, yeah, it's uh, Tuesday today. So we have like an hour in between school that we can go home or whatever. And uh, I'm at home making a pizza. And uh, then I have to go back to school for a couple hours and it'll be five. And I don't know if it'll be dark. All right, I got home. Uh, it was already dark. Took a shower. Pretty hungry. Um, so I'm gonna make some dinner. All right. So for what I'm making today, uh, like my family calls it uh, Romina, but like if you Google it, you get like a wrestler or something. And um, like it was like one of those passed down things. I don't even think it's like a real recipe, but it's pretty good, and uh, it's very easy to make. I I try not to measure things when I cook because like. I feel like it gives you a really good um, understanding when you're the one like pinching it and all that. Like I used to make a lot of jerky and sell it and um, I never measured any of the ingredients for that. And I feel like if a, if a recipe is like so ridiculous that it needs to be perfect with the ingredients, I think that's going to be a pain in the ass anyways. So when I cook, I just kind of throw it in there and see what happens. That's the best way to do it in my opinion. Alright, so to make this you need... A whole bunch of potatoes, and uh, if your country doesn't douse these in circle of life ending chemicals, then you'll have to cut these little guys off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just get a whole bunch of potatoes, like basically enough to fill a, like a two inch deep baking pan. This should be good for me, grandpa, and tomorrow's leftovers. All right, now put your little hostages in the pot and fill the pot with water you want them to be in like a just barely covering the tops of the potatoes full of water put that bad boy on like medium something and uh i assume you need a lid uh never mind about the temp put on like high it needs to boil in the meantime i have homework that needs to be done You want to cook them until they're nice and emotional. Oh, and uh, watch this. Now you want to slice them in equal sized slices. Now take a baking pan like this, or whatever. Uh, like, put a bunch of butter in it. If you use cold butter, it's a bit better because you just want a thin layer, like like not, uh, don't use like melted butter because then it'll go everywhere. You just want a thin layer of butter in there. I definitely put way too much butter, but that's okay. Alright, now you're going to do like a layer of these potatoes. Alright, now you need some of these. This is basically bacon bits, but they're like the best thing about Germany. You can buy these, they're like prepackaged. They're so good. And uh, yeah, so then you take these and you just put them on like a little thin layer on top of the potatoes. And then just salt and pepper. Don't be afraid to go heavy on the salt or the pepper. It kind of all just, um, usually you need more than what you think you need. And then you just repeat this uh, for however tall your pan is or however much ingredients you have. Pro tip, if you want it to be bussin', use all the all the bacon you have. That was the perfect amount of potatoes. Alright, and the next part is some Blair Witch magic. Alright, get a cup of like or a mug of water, um, and then put like a bullion cube in it, and then microwave it for a little bit. And uh, get some sour cream, like that much, I don't know how much that is, but put uh, some of it in the cup of water and uh, kind of get it to like melt a little bit, you know, like stir it around. Um, if it doesn't really melt, that's fine, but whatever, and then put the rest of it, just spread it all over it, and then pour the liquid right on top of it. Alright, now put this uh, suspicious looking thing in the oven. I like uh, 350 Fahrenheit for... 20 30 minutes it just depends if you want it like more crispy or whatever or like brown on the top All 
um, I have to edit this video and uh, do some more homework and um, thanks for watching this video try out that recipe it's freaking amazing and um, yeah I don't know thanks for watching